Hey y'all, today I am in the front yard and I wanted to show you how nature works using Centropic Agroforestry because that's exactly what nature does. So as you can see right here we have this tree and I'm facing due west. If you come under the tree, because there's shade, if you look out further, you can see there's no shade. So there's not much life beyond a little bit of grass. But once you get under the protective canopy of this tree, everything is, there's well, there's more of everything, first of all. There's a lot of natural plant life I didn't put here. Um, I know at some point the people that lived here before did like to plant plants. So that's probably where those irises came from. They don't, um, they don't get enough sunlight to bloom where they're at. But I'm just going to leave them anyways. But you can see here's a pine tree. There are some cedar trees over there there are some wild blueberries what i believe are pecans more cedars another pine and the reason that these plants are growing right here so happily is because they get shade from the sun they get protection from hail and we'll say some wind protection there's leaf litter built up on the ground from you know when the the tree drops its leaves in the fall so that's built up some nutrition that makes a perfect environment for these plants to grow and so when you're trying to garden these are things that you want to keep in mind the the goal of um, centropic agriculture and agro um, agroforestry is to mimic nature and to use things to your advantage and so typically you want to have a big canopy tree like this and people like to put comfrey and other things along the bottom and then let me back up some so that I can explain the rest of the process I'm getting out from under the shade and so kind of where the shade from this tree starts to end but not completely here's a uh, I believe a lightning bug on my hand <laughs> um, you know you'll plant some some crops or something usually easy ground crops like yams or whatever you'll come out a little bit further you'll put some um, fruit and nut trees just kind of every so often um, usually smaller trees you know you want your your primary protection to be these big trees so, but that gives you an idea. Um, so if you're worried about the fact that it takes 20 years for a tree to mature, you can do what we are doing, which is growing bamboo because a grove of bamboo will mature in 10 years and it's going to fill in fast. There's a lot of misinformation about bamboo, so don't get put off by it. A lot of people say, oh, it's invasive and it'll take over the world. Well, it's indigenous to every continent but uh, Antarctica, and it's been here millions of years. If it was going to take over the world, it would have done so by now. But that's another story for another day. And I got off on a tangent, but you can see how... Uh, centropic forestry and agriculture is meant to work and how it works and proof that it works.